Third, uh, I had some indication that one of them might ask, well, now President Johnson is for the uh, tax cut, uh, but uh, uh, is that just because he thinks it's, uh, you know, how nasty they can be, uh, just because he thinks it's a good thing to uh, prevent a recession between now and the election, or is that part of a, of a fiscal policy uh, designed uh, to, uh, in an active way, to make full use of the economy's potential and to uh, compensate for uh, gaps in the private economy. Okay. Fine. Those are the three things that I... I say he's been from since the day it was first announced. He participated in the formulation of the bill. And he sat in right. on all the meetings and he's made speeches all over the country about it, perhaps more than anybody in the administration. He's no Johnny come lately. Right. Uh, to it. Now, uh, uh, why is he cutting these expenses? He's cutting uh, the waste and the, the uh, things that he need not to in order he has some money to do the things that he does need to do. And right. he may take out an antiquated installation where they're teaching somebody to fly a plane that'll never be flown and will need a missile instead in order to help Grandma or somebody in West Virginia or Tennessee that's not eating now. Right. It's between an installation and uh, Grandma eats for Grandma. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, that's very good. And, of course, that follows uh, the theme uh, on that uh, Today Show also, which uh, used that, that kind of an illustration. I've never agreed that you had to prove you're liberal by showing how much money you could throw away. I have always supported uh, WPA and PWA and river development and resource development and full utilization and public housing and everything else. Right. I never, I never supported corruption in uh, any of those things. I never supported waste in any of them, and I never supported uh, just uh, uh, throwing away common sense and operating them. I believe in, uh, I'm a kind of a hammock is liberal. Well, and, uh, of course, uh, you know, Paul Douglas has done a lot of work to make uh, economy and government respectable. And, uh, uh, I just point out, Harold uh, and Paul Douglas, some of the greatest liberals we got, that's why they don't believe in throwing money away. Yeah, and, right. Uh, you don't know whether either one would like to be compared to the other or not, but the uh, <laughs> same pattern in that regard, as far as you're concerned, I've been... This is no Johnny come lately. I, on the Naval Affairs Committee in 1938, I was running an investigation pointing up waste in the Navy. In 1948, I was pointed up in the Senate as head of the Preparedness Committee. And I've done this, this stuff for 12, 15 years in the Senate. Right. I've had 25 years pointing up waste. And that's all I'm doing in the federal government. But that doesn't mean that uh, we're not going to have a National Science Foundation. That doesn't and, mean we're not going to have an Appalachian program. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to have a, a better program for the Peace Corps. Uh, what it does mean is we're going to have less money wasted and more money available for those things because of the stop in the waste. Right. Well, that, that's exactly uh, uh, something I want to stress. And it may be a lot of thirsty people on the water, but that doesn't mean that you ought to turn on the hydrant and let the tank all run dry before you put a bucket under it. What we're doing is we're going to... We're going to put a bucket under it and save all we can.